Okay, you guys, so it is time for another flea market flip. I actually got this little uh, trinket box at the flea market for like a couple of bucks, and it had like a logo uh, printed on the top, so I just sanded it off, and it came off pretty quick because it was printed instead of like embedded into the wood. So it was really easy to sand down, and I just, you know, kind of went with the round design here and just got this little mandala design and put it on here and instead of trying to burn these straight lines because it's so small I'm just doing this little stipple effect and I'm just burning little tiny dots I've got my burn master here and I've got these small ball tip loaded into my wand and it makes it super easy to just create these little tiny dots over and over and this is just a really simple fun way to burn it's a simple design it's a simple way to burn and it's just um just plain fun i mean i love to burn these like little dot patterns because they're just easy there's not a lot of shading there's not a lot of detail work it's just fun to burn these little dots over and over and i'm not really sure what kind of wood this is um it's pretty soft and these dots are burning really smoothly and I can't really tell what it is. Um, it's not pine. The grains aren't right. It kind of looks like oak, but it's so soft. Um, I'm really not sure. So if you guys have any clues, let me know. Thankfully, it's not varnished or um, stained at all. It's just nice raw wood. So I don't have to worry about um, burning any kind of chemicals or anything like that. So this is just a fun little piece to burn. I'm going to keep just burning my little dots here. This is one of those um, really relaxing pieces to burn because it's so simple. It doesn't require a lot of, you know, thought here as far as shading. You don't have to kind of, you know, when I'm shading stuff, I have to kind of look back at the pictures a lot and look at the different high um, highlights and lowlights and all that kind of stuff to get the shading um, burn just right but with this piece it's really simple I can just burn these little dots here and I'm thinking I'm gonna add a little bit of color I'm, I'm not gonna add a lot um, when I do these mandala pieces I try not to add too much color because I don't want to overwhelm the design but I like to add a little bit of color to kind of break up the design a little bit because it's when it's monotone um, the details kind of get lost into each other and you can, it's kind of makes it harder to see the layers but when you add a little bit of color it makes the layers pop and kind of stand out from each other and it gives a, a nice bit of contrast so that you have a little bit more definition So if you're looking for some inspiration for a new piece, go on to the flea markets, you guys. You'd be surprised at how many little bitty like wood trinkety things you can find that you can sand down and turn and flip into a new piece with wood burning. And here we go, it's all done. You can see I added a little bit of gold um, on every other layer of the mandala and it kind of just makes it stand out a little bit gives it a little bit more pop also I added a teeny version um, on the inside of the trinket box there so when you open it up there's a little bit of a burn inside there too and, and now I've got a great little bedside table box and I'm gonna add a like a butcher block oil here to finish it off and that is it a very nice simple little piece it's just pure fun to burn don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that little bell below so you can be notified of any new videos we load. Thanks for watching, everybody.